Is it time to buy or sell Palantir stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Palantir. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, May 18, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Boost your experience by joining our YouTube membership. Choose the supporter tier to show your appreciation with a loyalty badge or the trader tier to request video analysis of the company of your choice. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 9, 2023, our system has ranked Palantir as a hold slash accumulate, giving it a score of 0.00. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. During this period, the stock has outperformed our expectations, with a gain of 22.93% since we first recommended buying Palantir 8 days ago. This translates to an average return of 2.87% per day since it was listed as hold slash accumulate. A score of 0 indicates that our system anticipates high volatility and risk for the following trading day. Given the latest developments, we are unable to determine the stock's next direction, as it could go either way. The stock has broken the wide and strong rising the short-term trend up and an even stronger rate of rising is indicated. For any reaction back there will now be support on the roof on the current trend broken at $9.32, a level that may pose a second chance to hit a runner. The current 3-month trend suggests a potential 13.95% change over the next 3 months, with a possible return between minus 26.55% and minus 9.52%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 8.86% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 56.56% and minus 17.43%. This translates to a price range of $5.10 to $9.69 after a year. Our latest daily update for Palantir includes the headline, Big movements in Palantir stock price on Thursday moving 13.61% between high and low. The Palantir stock price gained 14.54% on the last trading day, Thursday, May 18, 2023, rising from $10.25 to $11.74. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 13.61% from a day low at $10.40 to a day high of $11.81. The price has risen in 7 of the last 10 days and is up by 59.08% over the past 2 weeks. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign, and, in total, 103 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 166 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $1.95 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $11.81, and the lowest price was $5.84. Currently, the price is 0.59%, or $0.0700, below the 52-week high, and 73.91%, or $33.26, below the all-time high on January 27, 2021, when the price reached $45. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets on Thursday, January 5, 2023, Jefferies set a price target of 7.5. On Thursday, January 5, 2023, Jefferies set a price target of 7.5. On Thursday, January 5, 2023, Jefferies set a price target of 7.5. On Wednesday, December 21, 2022, Wolf Research set a price target of 4.5. On Wednesday, December 21, 2022, Wolf Research set a price target of 4.5. Analysts have given Palantir stock a general buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Palantir. The Palantir stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. 
Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $10.04 and $8.54. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Thursday, May 4, 2023, and so far it has risen 59.08%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. The stock had a golden star signal on Wednesday, March 29, 2023 in the short-term chart. Golden star signal is when the short-term moving average, the long-term moving average, and price line meet in a special combination. This combination is very rare and often followed by long and strong gains for the stock in question. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, by signal 11 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 17 days ago. Short term moving average, by signal 10 days ago. Long term moving average, by signal 9 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 7 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, by signal 10 days ago. The long term moving average, by signal 10 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 74 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Palantir On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $9.94 and $9.88. There is a natural risk involved when a stock is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the stock then may fall to the next support level. In this case, Palantir finds support just below today's level at $9.94. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $9.88 and $9.55. This stock may move very much during the day, volatility, and with a very large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this stock is considered to be very high risk. During the last day, the stock moved $1.42 between high and low, or 13.61%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 7.49%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Palantir, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. A negative P-E ratio means the company has negative earnings or is losing money. Even established companies experience down periods, often due to factors beyond their control. However, consistently negative P-E ratios may signal insufficient profit and possible bankruptcy risks. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2023 is expected on August 07, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $0.0500. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Palantir. There's no significant resistance from accumulated volume above, which means the stock could move upward swiftly under the right conditions. In this case, you might want to enter a position and use volume to determine when to exit. On the downside, Palantir encounters its first support level at $9.94. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Palantir from multiple analyst sources is buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On May 10, 2023, Taylor Ryan D. conducted an insider sell of 18,700 shares of Class A common stock. On May 11, 2023, Taylor Ryan D. conducted an insider sell of 4,611 shares of Class A common stock. On May 12, 2023, Taylor Ryan D. conducted an insider sell of 500 shares of Class A common stock. 
On May 10, 2023, Glazer David conducted an insider sell of 48,209 shares of Class A common stock. On May 1, 2023, Moore Alexander D. conducted an insider sell of 21,900 shares of Class A common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 15.607. Overall, insiders purchased 9,855,378 shares and sold 13,554,501 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $11.35, minus 3.30%. This stock has very high daily movements and this gives very high risk. The RSI 14 is 85 and this increases the risk substantially. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found 10 days ago. Is Palantir stock a good buy? Palantir holds several positive signals, but we still don't find these to be enough for a buy candidate. At the current level, it should be considered as a hold candidate, hold or accumulate, in this position whilst awaiting further development. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Friday, May 19th, we expect Palantir to open down $0.425 and start trading at $11.32. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.